Yeah, we call this the uh, Wildlife Fertility Clinic, and we do a lot of work on um, trying to understand the reproductive biology of wildlife species, and from that we can then use that information to help improve breeding and management. Uh, we can do this for both captive animals as well as animals in the wild. And it works that way because we can measure hormones not just in blood, like they do for humans, but we can also look at hormones that are excreted in urine and feces, uh, even saliva, and we also can look at hair. We use a lot of techniques that they use in human fertility clinics. We can do hormone therapies to induce ovulation and time breeding. We use the same types of uh, monitoring techniques to look at pregnancy, um, predict parturition, uh, diagnose fertility problems, and, and try to find ways of getting around those problems to maximize, maximize reproduction. It's not, not so romantic as, as you might think, but we can use computer programs to determine what the best matches are for some of the species. So we know the pedigrees of all the animals in our zoos, for example, and so we can actually say from a genetic standpoint who is best matched with another individual. And the idea being that we want to maintain good genetic diversity in our population because that just makes animals more healthy. So we can use the, the, the computer modeling to figure out who should be bred with whom. And then the next step is to get those animals together. And if at all possible, we would like to have natural mating because that's just more natural. But sometimes we can get males and females together and they're not interested in, in each other. You know, I always say, you know, we may think that the male is a stud, but the female may think he's a dud. So when that happens, we have to come up with alternative ways of getting those two animals together. There is nothing more fun, really, than getting on the phone and telling a zoo, hey, your elephant is pregnant, or your cheetah is pregnant. And, and with elephants, we can even tell when they're going to give birth within a couple of days, and they will send us samples every day, and we can call them up and say, okay, get ready, because in about two to five days, your elephant's giving birth, and there is nothing more fun than that. And we get lots of baby pictures from zoos all over the country that, that say thanks, and help, you know, thanks for helping us produce this little wonder. So that, to me, is, is one of the biggest joys of my job.